In this video, we will be finding the total surface area of a prism. Our problem is to find the surface area of the prism with the base shown below, right here, and a height of 10. This is a sketch of the prism showing the height of 10 centimeters. The formulas that we'll need to use are lateral area of a prism is equal to the perimeter of the base times the height. The surface area of a prism is equal to the lateral area of the prism plus 2 times the area of the base. Press pause to copy down the problem and the formulas that we'll be using. When you're ready to continue, press play. Now, since surface area requires that we have the lateral area of the prism, I'll use this first formula to find the lateral area of the prism. Now, when we talk about the lateral area of a prism, uh, right here I have a hexagonal prism. You'll notice that up here is uh, one of the bases, and it's a hexagon. And then on the other side is the other base, and it's a hexagon. The two bases are parallel to each other, and the lateral surface area is this area around the edge. It's made up of six rectangles in this case, but we have, um, as far as the prism goes, we have the two bases the two hexagons, and then the lateral surface is this edge right around here. So for our problem, the lateral area is this curved um, region around the side, and then the top base and the bottom base look like this. So since this is a prism that's a little bit um, different from the one I showed you, uh, we'll just use these formulas. The perimeter of the base, um, we'll have to use the perimeter around the edge here, and then multiply that by the height of the prism. So our lateral surface area of the prism is equal to the perimeter of the base times the height. So that's the first formula that we'll be using. Now the perimeter of our base we can see that we had the three line segments here. Uh, this top line segment measures four centimeters, just like this one. So we have four plus six plus four. Plus, and then we have this curve we want the perimeter, or the distance around this curve. Now, normally when we talk about a, a circle, or in this case a semicircle, uh, we talk about circumference. So we need half of the circumference of a circle with a radius of 3 centimeters. So half, and then circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, so 2 times pi times the radius, which is 3 centimeters. This is the perimeter of the base, and then I'm going to multiply that by the height, which is 10 centimeters. Now, in order to uh, do this work, we need to uh, combine the rational numbers.
So 4 plus 6 plus 4 is 14. And then we want to simplify this irrational part. Um, the half of 2, I can cancel those. And we have just 3 pi. And then that's multiplied by the 10. Now we can't combine rational and irrational numbers together, so we're going to have to leave this written as a binomial. But we can distribute our 10. If we multiply our 10 through the binomial, we have 140, that's 14 times 10, plus, and then 3 pi times 10 is 30 pi. Now this is the lateral surface area, so I'm going to use that um, for my surface area formula. So surface area of a prism is equal to the lateral area, or the lateral surface area, plus 2 times the area of the base. So the lateral surface area I already know is 140 plus 30 pi. And then I need to add to that 2 times the area of the base. Let's go back up and look at our base. The area of our base, we need to find the area of this rectangular region. Uh, we know that the area of a rectangle is length times width, so 6 times 4. Put that in there. And then I'm going to add to that the area of this semicircle. We know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. So the area of this semicircle is half of that. So 1 half pi r squared. And my radius was 3. So 3 squared. Let me do some simplifying here. I'll just copy this first part. 140 plus 30 pi plus 2 times. Now again, I have a rational part and then an irrational part, so I'll do those separately. 6 times 4 is 24. And then... Uh, 3 squared is 9, times 1 half is 9 halves, times pi. And let's distribute this 2 through the binomial. And I have 140 plus 30 pi, plus, and then 2 times 24 is 48, Plus, and then 2 times 9 halves pi is 9 pi. All right. If we add these two binomials together, again I have to add the rational numbers together. That's 188. And then add the irrational terms together. And we have 39 pi. My unit of measure was centimeters, and this is area, so centimeters squared. 
Now this answer is accurate. Let me go ahead and get an approximation. 188 plus 39 times pi equals approximately 310.5 square centimeters.